India taking flight into the future, a game-changing fighter jet powered by engines built right here at home. The fifth generation race is on and India is ready to roar. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh announced India will begin in indigenous engine manufacturing for its fifth generation fighter jet with a French company. In fact, the big announcement comes a day after it was reported that the Indian Prime Minister spoke to the French President Emmanuel Macron. And according to reports, the French company will build a 120 kilo Newton turbojet engine with the first test flight scheduled for 2028. The deal is reportedly valued for around seven billion dollars seven billion dollars the game-changing program propels india into aviation's most exclusive club only three other nations possess fifth generation fighter jet technology the us russia and china and now india will become only the fourth country to have this crown jewel of fighter jet technology turkey South Korea and Japan also are developing their own fifth generation fighter jets. The advanced medium combat aircraft represents India's boldest military foray. Mass production planned to start by 2035, designed for air supremacy, ground strike and electronic warfare missions. The Indian government has sanctioned 15,000 crore rupees to design and develop five prototypes. The fifth generation fighters revolutionize warfare. In fact, stealth coatings render them ghost-like. Advanced sensors track multiple targets simultaneously. Super cruise capability maintains supersonic flight without afterburners. They are flying computers with lethal payloads. A fifth generation fighter jet gives the country overwhelming air superiority. It's like a titan towering over the rest. In short, India is not just catching up it's preparing to leap ahead. And this is not just aircraft manufacturing, it's strategic independence. India plans to create an indigenous 110 kilonewton thrust class engine. No more pleading to foreign suppliers, no more technology blackmail, pure self-reliance. India's decision to partner with the French company reflecting the growing defence cooperation between Paris and New Delhi. In fact, France has become a key supplier of modern combat aircraft to India, including Rafale fighter jets, for both the Air Force and the carrier-based operations. France also plays a role in India's submarine fleet, which includes the Scorpion-class diesel-electric submarines built with French assistance. Defence analysts call this a tectonic shift. For decades now, India has relied on imported technology and now it's moving from buyer to builder, from follower to competitor. For the Indian Air Force, facing a two-front challenge from China and Pakistan, this could not come at a better time. The countdown has started. India's fifth generation fighter jet is no longer a dream. It's taking shape in hangars today and tomorrow. It could redefine the balance of power in Asia's skies, where India would be dominating from a position of strength. Tech billionaire Elon Musk finds himself at the center of a rather heated storm. This time not over rockets or Tesla cars, but his own AI creation. The Grok chatbot, developed under Musk's company X, reportedly told users how to assassinate its founder. Grok, which can be accessed on Musk's social network X, has drawn scrutiny for a raft of controversial posts and responses. One of them provided a meticulous and ex executable plan to murder Elon Musk, reportedly. And details have emerged after hundreds of thousands of leaked chats were reportedly exposed. The leaked chats uh, revealed that Grok, which is a rival to OpenAI's ChatGPT, had also instructed users how to make bombs and kill themselves, and instructions on how to concoct homemade drugs. The leak at Grok occurred through a share button that basically allowed for chats to be discovered through an internet search engine. 
The leaked chats come after OpenAI said that it would shut down a similar feature that allowed users to share their conversations with ChatGPT online. Reports say more than 100,000 ChatGPT conversations have been shared in this manner. And while the option to share chats publicly was deliberately added by OpenAI, the company said it believed that some people were sharing conversations by accident. It has removed that feature now. Meanwhile, Facebook owner Meta still allows users to publicly share their conversations on a public forum similar to a social media feed. And this has led to some users inadvertently publicizing embarrassing conversations with the bot as they discussed their sexual health or relationships. A federal judge has prohibited state and federal officials from bringing new detainees to the Alligator Alcatraz Detention Center. The court also ordered much of the site to be dismantled, effectively shuttering the facility. The state has been asked to begin dismantling elements of the facility, including temporary fencing, lighting fixtures, generators, among, among other equipment, within 60 days. Earlier this month itself, Williams had ordered further construction at the center to be temporarily halted. Florida's government swiftly announced it would appeal the decision. The detention center was hastily assembled in just eight days in June with bunk beds, wire cages, large white tents at an abandoned airfield in Florida's uh, uh, wetlands, home to a large population of alligators. President Donald Trump, who has vowed to deport millions of undocumented migrants, visited the center last month, boasting about the harsh conditions and also joking that the reptilian predators will serve as guards. The new ruling on Thursday by the district judge comes after a lawsuit filed against the Trump administration by Friends of the Everglades and the Center for Biological Diversity. The environmental groups basically argued that the detention center threatens the sensitive Everglades ecosystem and was hastily built without conducting the legally required environmental impact studies.